Hi everyone! Welcome to Introduction to Color Match. The primary goal of this add-on is to assist you in achieving precise color matching for your renders. Imagine you have a client who wants a product render that perfectly matches their website color scheme. How will you accomplish that? Let's begin with the installation process. Open Blender and navigate to Edit Preferences. Click the Install button. Locate the zip file you downloaded and double-click it. Enable the add-on. Expand the tab and click Install Requirements button. Let's set up a simple scene and explore how Color Match can be used. You can find Color Match in the side panel in 3D View. The first part of the panel allows you to set the target color. This is what you want the render to look like. The next step is to position the target point. So now's a good time to explain how the add-on works. It operates through iterations, each time rendering the same small portion of the image. The mean color is compared to the target and colors are adjusted towards the goal. This square is where the add-on samples the color that we are trying to change. You can move this point up and down and adjust its size. Next, select the color property that the add-on will change. It works for both materials and compositor nodes. Let's select a material, right-click on the color and select Assign to Color Match. The color is connected and we're ready to start matching. You can play with the number of iterations and step size, but in most cases, just clicking the button should do the trick. If it doesn't, maybe just click it again. When we get to a small error, that means the colors are basically the same. Now let's do a similar example in the compositor. I'm using an alpha overnote to create the background. I will assign this color and then set the target point to look at the background. Let's run the matching. It's essential to acknowledge some limitations of this add-on. The add-on is not magic. It can't achieve colors that are not possible with changing just one color property. For example, if I set the target color to pure black, the process is not able to achieve it with the current material and lighting. However, by adjusting lighting and materials, you can still achieve the desired outcome. Thanks for watching. I hope Color Match will be a valuable tool in your workflow.